There he goes, George the Boxing Genius. Yo, what's up, man? What's going on? We're here trying to do some grilling over here for my for my daughter's little get together, you know? I've been the, the New Year celebration, the festivities. Yeah, man, she's gonna have some uh, festivities going up at the house. And I uh, did some pork shoulders on the grill here, so, you know. Uh, so 20 uh, finishing off 2017 2018's coming in so <clears throat> what was your final uh, preview or your your thoughts and feedback for how we finished boxing in 2017 it was pretty exciting or what uh, some some parts were exciting some were just fucked up you know some were lousy you know there were some good fights in there you know I mean you had the Canelo the Triple G the Lomacheco uh, just recently with my man here, uh, what's his name? Damn it. Lomoncheco with this, uh, Brigandau. You know, Brigandau beat the shit out of Brigandau, you know? And, uh, you know, whipped his ass. And so, so yeah. this year, this far, the boxing genius, what was your most exciting fight, would you say? My most exciting fight this year? Would you say Kovale, Canelo? I mean, Kovale, Kovale from Wart. That was an exciting fight. The rematch was exciting. The Thurman and Garcia? Thurman and Garcia. Is that a good fight, you think? That sucked, you know, Thurman, you know, because Garcia, first of all, don't belong there, you know? That's my opinion, you know? What about but, the Mikey Garcia and Adrian Broner? Adrian Broner? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Mikey Garcia, Adrian Broner, Adrian Broner don't belong no fucking way. He don't even belong in boxing to me. He's good, man. AB's good. Why? I repeat, you keep saying Adrian Broner. Adrian Broner is a 130, 135. I mean, not even the 135, because he fought Mikey at 130. 140. 140, and he got beat. Got his ass whooped. Mikey's good, though. Yeah, well, you know, he's good, but uh, I think that his challenge is coming up pretty soon, hopefully in 2018. You know, I, I, I'm i looking forward to Mikey Garcia taking on Lomacheco. I'm looking for that fight. I'm looking forward to that fight. And I have a feeling it's going to be a tough fight. It's going to be a pretty good fight. But to me, Mikey does not have the speed to keep up with this kid. I keep saying, this kid is an exceptional, exceptional boxer. You have not seen a boxer of that caliber, that nature, come through boxing in a long fucking time. People can talk to me about Mayweather. Mayweather, no, he wasn't fast. Mayweather, you crazy? Come Mayweather, on, please, please, man. Please. Mayweather, At 130, held 135, people. he was no, dominating, man. About 130, Don't start with that Mayweather, bro, because uh, I'm gonna cut you off every time. We're going up. We're going up. He's going up. 130, you can't, 135. You can't say Lemonchenko. At 135, Mayweather wasn't fast. At 135, as fast as this kid? No. Hell yeah. No. Come on, man. I say to people. I've been around from the old school. I say to people, there's only one guy in boxing, to me, that's my opinion again, the boxing genius opinion, that has the technology, the technicality, the speed, the composure, knowing the knowledge of that ring, and don't get knocked out, don't get tagged, and maybe have a strong draw. His name was Macho Camacho, okay? If Macho Camacho had the power that Lomacheco has, Macho Camacho was a bad motherfucker, okay? If Macho Camacho had hand power, had some power behind his punches, there's no fucking body that could touch him. That's the way I compare that kid Lomacheco to. And eventually, the greatest, which they already did, Muhammad Ali, okay? The smartness he has in that ring. That dude, before you throw a punch, you already know you're throwing, he prop, he smacked in your face. And Mikey Garcia does not have the speed to keep up with that dude. Regendahl has much more speed than Mikey Garcia. And what did happen to him? He got his ass well, didn't he? And you're telling people gonna tell me, Mikey Garcia? I don't think so, man. That's just gonna be another walk around. 